Hello and happy October. It's been a while since my last video. Um, since then, we have picked pumpkins. Some of them have squished since then. We have gone to the pumpkin patch, picked a couple more. I notoriously cannot keep a mum alive to save my life. I can try and water it, but we'll see if that revives. My hostas are beautiful flowers are out. Um, I've got some weeds in there. My sage is huge. I'll pick some of that and dry it. Got sneaky little pumpkins everywhere. Of course, we are decorated for Halloween. My nasturtiums made a comeback. My wildflowers are still growing strong. It's absolutely beautiful. All of the flowers. My lavender has gotten bigger. My garlic, which I thought had died earlier this spring, is coming back. So I am gonna leave that to go over winter. I may even get some more and put, pop them in um, before the weather gets too cold. Uh, lots of things going on. Don't know, I think this is the thistle. I'm just kind of leaving it. Um, at the end of the season, I have another stage right there. Um, Phlox is still going strong. Marigolds have gone strong. Uh, my lavender, my rosemary, my hydrangea, my echinacea. Um, that was just a tiny little thing at the beginning of the season, as well as my um, Russian purple sage is gorgeous. We've got some flowers. This has spread like mad. I love it. My roses are in full bloom. And here is where the work starts. Sunflowers have been taken down. Most have already been dragged to the back. I need to come in here and weed all of this. Um, this is a watermelon. Uh, it didn't ever give me anything. It's got flowers, but at this point in the season, it's just there for decoration. It's not going to amount to anything. Again, we've got some lots of work to do. Um, fall cleanup. I have um, already come to this patch and dug up a bunch of the weeds with my handy dandy new hoe. So that is really a great tool. We've got apples. You see all my wildflowers are gone crazy. Lots of weeds to get out of here. Cucamelons are still going. Half the weeds, have, half of them have died, but we still, here we are on October 6th, still have cucamelons going and they're still delicious. I've got some pepper plants here. I may repot them and put them inside. I do have one inside that is thriving. I've got garlic here that I did not plant new. This is from the very beginning of the season that are coming back. So I'm just gonna leave them. Blueberries, my dog crying. Our eggplant has gotten huge. I've had four big eggplants off of that. I wanna say we have a crazy tomato plant that just started here. I did not plant that. As you can see, it grew itself and it's even got flowers this late in the season. We don't have anything there, just a bunch of cleanup work to do. I took out all the pumpkin vines that I had in this box. They gave us as much as they were going to. So this will all be retailed. Corn stalks will come down. The beans never amounted to anything. They were pretty flowers for a while. Uh, we, there's actually, it's the first time I've seen a pot on here. That is huge. I might just crack that open just to see what's in there. Probably not eat it though. But that is the only bean. Oh my gosh, I've got some more. Look at you guys, live, live, right here. There we go. So I'll pick those. Um, this is our tomatoes and our asparagus. Again, huge. There were so many on here that it was impossible for me to pick them all. It's gonna be a fun task getting all that out there. Um, jalapeno plant, officially dead. Uh, this one is my banana peppers. They served me well. I've got some beautiful wildflowers going on. Oh look, one little banana pepper left. Um, tomatoes, you can see something came and enjoyed them, but I do have several in there that I can pick that are red and I still, again, October 6th and they are still growing, um, which is, look, look at that. That's insane how many I have. Um, this guy looks like he is for the deer. I'm gonna go toss him in the back. 
But yeah, I'm still getting tomatoes by the bushel on October 6th. So yeah, there we go, all my wildflowers. I think this pretty much acted like a barrier for the deer, but I did not have any issues with them this year. I did not have any issues with rabbits in the back because of my raised beds, but it's pretty neat. Uh, my grapes are growing. They're gonna last several seasons, hopefully years. I did come over here and clean out this part of the bed already. This little strawberry, I'm just letting go. He has propagated himself multiple times to one, two, three, four, five, six, about six new plants. Hold on, bud. So I'm just gonna let that go. Um, again, some more died. I'll wait till next season to replant in here. Uh, I've got some weeding to do. And we'll go from there. You can see those tomatoes were a mess, but they, they did. I will update you guys. And hopefully next time you see this, it will all be nice and clean and ready for next season.